They're driving fast. They're all the same car. They are, yes, they <laughs> They are all Beatles. Hello, everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Stephen Plays. My name is Stephen George. I play video games every Friday. It's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, Dan is joining me. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Dan. Hey, YouTube. If YouTube was here, they'd say, hey, Dan. <laughs> They, they're all collectively <laughs> speak speak like that. Uh, today we are doing a game that is near to dear to both Dan and my own heart. Beetle Adventure Racing, a game developed uh, by Electronic Arts, a racing game that is more or less an advertisement for Volkswagen. <laughs> um, the reason I love this game so much is that it's not a very conventional racing game. Yeah. It's it really doesn't focus on the cars. It focuses on the tracks, and I think that's what makes it so great. Dan and I are going to be playing a few races today. Uh, I say we have we've only unlocked a few because stupid game does not have battery backup saves, and you have to use a controller pack. And God only knows where my save is from childhood. So we can we're probably gonna have time to do two. We may have time to do three. You wanna start with Mount Mayhem? Sure. Let's do Mount Mayhem. Oh, Buddy, it's, it's got some of the best music. Yeah. So we've got a few cars that we can use. Oh, I think we unlocked these. Yeah, I think so, which, thank God. Um, we, we originally only had uh, two tracks available. Uh, yeah, there's, champ there's a championship mode where you have to play through, and when you start you have red, yellow, and blue, which is different strengths for the car, and then you unlock a second set. So you're going to go with Purple. best acceleration, here's best top speed, and best handling. I'm actually going to go for best top speed and see if uh, it helps. Oh, you can change color, too. Oh, what? <laughs> Up and down changes the color. I'll be... So I'm going to go for top speed, but I'm going to do I'm going to do a different color than you. You should do green, because that's your color, bro. That's my color. There's actually a dark green, there's too. There's a dark green. I'm going to do the... Oh, well, there's like a neon? I'm going to do a pink. Or Where's is the... that purple? This is kind of neat. Is that neon? That's kind of neon. I'll do pink. There's actually a lot of colors. I'm impressed. Okay. Bam. We're gonna make this happen automatic because why would you do manual? <laughs> yeah, and and the um the buttons for like I think upshift and downshift or whatever are the bumpers or oh or yeah it's like or it's that. like the D pad I don't know I'm not I'm weird. not even dealing with that Mount it's weird Mount Mayhem also one of my favorite video game tracks of all time I love the music in Mount Mayhem the music in in, in Beetle Adventure Racing isn't particularly memorable actually but I like it. Yeah, that's a little trick. Uh, right at the beginning of your race, I'm gonna beat you. If Steve. you tap the L button, oh no! Yeah, my top speed's higher. Uh, <laughs> if you if you if you tap the L button, which is handling, bro, which is abort. <laughs> oh, gone it, damn. I'm sorry. Um, you, it it kind of like removes you from the race and then puts you back in the race, going like 50 miles an hour. Which is great. Well, I'm I'm where are the balls. Ah, um. So if you use it right at the beginning of the race, you're going zero, so it's it quickly pushes you to 50 miles an hour. So that's why Dan and I both hit L right at the beginning of the race. Uh, this game was not really memorable. I, in fact, I don't even think it actually did all that well when it came out. But uh, when I was a kid, I was reading Nintendo Power Magazine all the time, and um, I was very, Woo! very Sorry. impressed. I didn't make it. Oh, shoot. Steven, you're not doing so hot. No, I think I'm actually... My acceleration is bad, and it takes me a while to get up to full speed, so I think that might be my, my issue here. Oh. And I'm also going a little f fast. Oh, wait, yeah, I think you're right about the ski jump, because I... Oh, God. Wow. I almost I almost fell off the cliff. Why am I in front of you? Be because I, I'm pretty sure that ski jump actually doesn't do anything for oh, okay. you. Oh, gosh. So, I was a kid reading Nintendo Power. Um, I've had Nintendo Power subscription, you know... I don't know how many years. I, I got it when I was like seven. I subscribed to Nintendo Power with the insert that came in Donkey Kong Country 2, if that gives you an idea. And then I just, I didn't quit it until like a year or two oh before they god. they stopped printing issues. Oh, you st oh my gosh. Yeah, you're going to have to abort. Anyway, um, I, when I read about this game, I was really intrigued because I didn't like racing games. Um, and one of the reasons I didn't like them is because there was such an emphasis on cars. Yeah, the brands of cars, which, I, which are better than the other cars. Uh, and I don't know anything about cars. And I don't care to know anything about cars. So whenever someone's trying to play a racing game and they're like, you know, you want the Mitsubishi or you want the Honda. And I'm like, I don't know. What the crap? But, and, you know, people have, like, brand loyalty to certain car companies and stuff. And I just, you know, I didn't have that. So they would, uh, I, uh, neither of us made it. Uh, they would say, 
you know, what do you want to do? And I'd be like, oh, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. So Beetle Adventure Racing took all of that out because there is only these Beetle cars, which are not, they're not <laughs> racers anyway, you know. And the only real difference is just the stats, and they're not. Yeah, so know, it's, it, you don't, you don't really think about the, the brand of the car or anything. It's just, I will play with the car that can go faster or has better handling, etc. But what they did is they put a huge emphasis, oh dang it, a huge emphasis on the tracks. And they filled the tracks with <laughs> shortcuts, which is really what makes the game for me. Um, the reason I love this game so much is because there are shortcuts all over the track. And unfortunately in multiplayer mode, the, the shortcuts aren't hidden. Like if you play in single player mode, you, you play with a full grid of cars. You're playing with like eight, eight people total. Yeah. But like also, you know, certain things have destructible. There's a there, it, there's destructible environments, Woo! and um, you know, like where I just went on the top screen, uh, there's like a a garage there, and you break through the window. And whenever I was young, that was like a big deal to me. Like having shortcuts in the track was like what made the game so exciting for me. Um, oh, dang it! I missed it again. I don't. Sorry. I'm actually doing okay. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope I can get this. Did I make it this time? This is my worst place because I, I made keep it. Running. Yes. You did. Yeah. You get the alien. Yeah, there's an alien. Watch out, bro. Mother. They're gonna probe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, huge amounts of of shortcuts uh, in every track, and I think I like it because no. the game has a lot of character. Go. It's you know very much unlike traditional racing games, and I think that's why I liked it so much as a kid. Um, unfortunately, my friends who liked racing games hated this game. Because um, yeah. I had friends who were really big into uh, automobile Lamborghini. Um, I don't think Need for Speed was out on N64, but there was other games, you know. Oh, what's, what's that one game? Oh, shoot, I can't remember it right now. Oh, I just passed you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, automobile Lamborghini was the one I remember, gotcha. but there was uh, MCR. Uh, multi-championship racing or something like that. It was another N64 game. Anyway, um, these games put emphasis on things I don't care about. Uh. And uh, I ended up liking Video Adventure Racing because it was, about, it was about the tracks, and it was really ultimately about having fun, which I enjoyed. Uh, the cars are really fun um, and ridiculous. Um, eventually you unlock, like, a police car. An alien decal car or something. Yeah, there's an alien car that you unlock. Um, I think the police car is probably a nod to the Need for Speed series, because EA also made the Need for Speed series. Although, the thing I can't remember is, did Need for Speed come out on N64, or was it a game... or did it start with the next generation? I don't remember. I wish I did, but once again, I never played racing games, so I'm not... I'm not super familiar. Oh man, I'm on top of the hill! Woo! Oh dang! You can, I mean, you can really drive anywhere. You can get behind fences and, and things like that. You can smash anything, really. Yeah. Um, I just, the only thing I really wish is that the dis the destructible stuff was still in multiplayer mode, because that was yeah. actually one of my favorite things. Um, single player mode's pretty, I don't want to say it's really different, because, you know, it's a racing game, but you can, um, one of the big differences Woo! is that there are, there are, oh gosh, little no, dang it, oh. I'm not going to make it. There's little boxes scattered around in uh, single-player mode, and as you hit them, you get points. And if you can get a certain number of points in your three laps, you can um, unlock certain things, like you can unlock modes, ah, dang it, no. ah. you can unlock cheats, uh, things like that. And there's actually, there's, an, there's another, um, there's another multiplayer mode entirely where there's a battle. Thing. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what kind of like things that you would do to attack each other. I don't either. I, I th like I don't remember any like weapons or anything. I don't. I think it's just because, you know, uh, that part of the game never mattered to me, so yeah. I didn't really play that as a kid. Oh go! Um, you, you know, I've already said it like ten times, but you know the the draw of the game for me was the shortcuts. <laughs> I was like, man, this game's great. This guy shortcuts. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to play it. So I. I think the battle stuff didn't really matter to me. Although to be fair, um, you know, a no, game what the <laughs> a game that does battling right is Mario Kart, and Mario Kart's another, you know, quote unquote racing game that I really enjoy. And it's I think it's just because it's so non-conventional. Um, I've tried to play Forza, and uh, 
yeah. the Need for Speed series. And, like, I kind of like the Need for Speed, like, cop chases and stuff. Like, the police yeah. chases. Those are fun. Yeah. You gonna smash into me? Uh, you're sliding. Did you hit me? Uh, sometimes you oh. can run into each other, which is kind of fun. <laughs> I kept going. Player one, enter your name. Okay. But. <laughs> but. Enter. Player two, enter your name. Uh. But one. But ten. But. <laughs> <laughs> Butts and butts but ten. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, let's uh, <laughs> we'll do a new track. A different one. Um, there's uh, there's a variety of tracks in the game. They're all very unique. They all have a ton of uh, character to them. Oh, you know what I just realized? Hit me. Um, something that you'll notice uh, throughout this this track is that it has a lot of nods to Jurassic Park. Yeah. But that font is almost just like Indiana Jones. So it's almost like... Yeah, and it has a kind of that feel, too, I guess, a little yeah. bit, in a way. They're all really interesting. Um, yeah. But in front of a while, it was actually oh, probably joy. one of the cooler ones. I'm going to keep the same car, because yeah, I did pretty good. Well, yeah, well... I, we yeah. were pretty neck and neck, most of it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was doing... At the beginning, I was doing pretty well, because yeah. I think... Because you, like, messed up a little bit at the beginning. Also but then you caught up and... Also, totally. these tracks are super long. Like, this is... Yeah. Record time is nine minutes. Yeah, because we... It was like, what, like ten minutes? Yeah. Okay, Last so we started on the beach. Oh! oh! Farts! No! <laughs> no! So we start on the beach, uh, hate... and uh, there's huge, huge nods to Jurassic Park coming up. I'm actually going to avoid the, the shortcut at the beginning, so I can show oh, the are? Jurassic okay. Park stuff. Because there's a shortcut right through these woods, and you probably see up here on the right, there's a dirt path. I'm going to go the same in. way, just so... Yeah, so here's these giant doors for Jurassic oh, Park. Oh, what the... Wow. That and there's the... Uh, I'm not going to do too well. Wow, I'm, I just slammed into some stuff, too. I can uh -oh. barely see the dinosaur, though. The dinosaur appeared on the left, and I didn't really get a good shot of him, but he was in there. But this is obviously supposed to be a reference to Jurassic Park. Yeah, the big giant doors and the... There, there's like a visitor's center coming up. It really feels like the development team just had a lot of fun making these levels. Yeah. Um, it seems like they just had a, a real blast being able to not have to make such a conventional racing game and be able to focus on doing fun environments and shortcuts. And uh, in, the, in the main game I was talking about they have boxes for points, but they also have boxes for nitro which is another thing that's missing from multiplayer, although maybe that's a cheat or something you can unlock. But uh, the Nitro, obviously, you touch it with your car, and then you go zooming as fast as you can. I'm going to try to get off this pier right here. Woo! Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, I splashed. <laughs> I'm Damn. not going to make it. I'm not. No, no, you're going to... Uh, did you get it? Uh, yes, I did. I, I rolled off of the side of the uh. stupid pier. I almost ate it at, on that first round. Oh, now I gotta, now I gotta play catch up to you a little oh, bit. Oh god! Um, but this one, uh, you know, you go through the jungle. You uh, actually eventually go into an active volcano, which is coming up. Welcome to the jungle! Oh god! <laughs> but the, uh, I think the only thing I really don't like. Oh, is this that part. This, you can't see where you're going. Yeah, it's I a can't. Little, it's a little dark. I'll lighten it up and post so you guys watching will be able to see it. But it's a little, little dark, like ridiculously so. I'm actually gonna try and go left. I always go right up here when the when the roads for. Oh wait, no, this isn't this isn't it. Oh god! It's uh. up here. It's coming up somewhere up here. But I always go right. I'm gonna try going left. Oh! Oh farts! I almost. All right, fell. I'm going left. Did it make a difference? Oh god! Not really. No. Oh it god. Did not affect the single thing. No, I'm going left again. Oh, the road is narrow. Oh, the road is narrow. Oh, oh god! I this was a this was a mistake. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> oh no! And it explodes. Or, oh, what the? <laughs> Turning the other way. One of my, one of my big complaints with the game. Oh. I mean, I mean, the game is not that great. It, it, I think it only really has a huge nostalgia factor for Dan and I. Yeah. Um, but it, as a game, it's actually really not that good. Although we wanted to share it because it's something that we really enjoyed and it is very unique. Yeah, this area. Sorry, it's like the front 
visitors. Center. Oh, for Jurassic Park. Yeah. Sorry. Continue. Well, anyway, I was just saying it is. It's a unique game. It's just not all that well done. Um, I like some of the tracks for the the music though, and uh, I like the concept of the game. But there's seriously, oh. there is some serious issues with the game. Oh, itself. I did it. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh, I'm I'm right behind you. Oh, I'm like literally. Oh, don't don't jump the. Oh, it's actually even possible to do tricks. Yeah, um, I don't. You have to use C down. You have to brake while you're going off of a jump, and you can actually spin your car. Um, but it's very hard to do. Um, oh, I missed the shortcut. I did too. I slammed right into a wall. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, third lap. I wish. I wish the uh, laps. Uh, Second lap. I, I, I wish the tracks either weren't so long, or they just made you do less laps. Seriously. Yeah. If, two if laps could be great for this. Yeah. Just yeah. You could, you could just. There's the thing. You could just do two laps for the the tracks, and I think that would be fine, because it's just. It's way too long, um, and I think that this isn't even the longest one. I think there's even tracks uh, that are longer than this. I'm going to try to turn right here yeah, and go down and, the side. And, and one of the things, one of the reasons why I don't care for... I'm on top of a building. What the crap? <laughs> <laughs> I landed on top of a building, which was neat, but uh, it's not what I need to do. Am I? Um, You're like right here, though. Yeah, what, one of the reasons why I don't care for racing games is that... Because some of them can be so long that if you mess up just like a part, you have to redo the, the entire, entire like ten minutes, and that kind of feels like you were like wasting your time. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're really trying to get first place and all the oh, you know what? I God. wonder if there's a correlation to people not liking racing games and those same people really liking RPGs. Because what you just said makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I don't like the idea of playing a racing game, playing a track, losing after putting in several minutes, and then having to redo the entire thing, you know, over and over and over again. Um, whereas in, like, an RPG, it's the exact opposite, because Where you're putting time into it, and you're continually leveling up your character. Yeah. And even if you suck, you're getting better, so you're getting stronger, so you're less likely to lose. Yeah. I wonder if there's a correlation. Because the there. only way that you can, like, upgrade or whatever in racing games is if you actually win things and then you can, like, upgrade your car yeah. and things like that. If, you, if you're if you really terrible at it, then, like, you can hardly ever advance. I don't know. And, I mean, I once again, it's it's not that I, I hate racing games. I just I heavily prefer non-conventional racing games. This game, Mario Kart uh, Twisted Metal... Which isn't really racing. Twisted Metal was car combat. Yeah. Um, it, and, and it was the same for me with uh, Vigilante 8. I really like that. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of like the knockoff Twisted yeah, Metal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, it, it really But it's still... It, I mean, I remember that game. That was fun. Yeah. And, you know, that's another game that I haven't played in 15 years. And if I went back and played it, it's probably terrible. Yeah, I, I played it the other morning. and it, it was, Oh, really? Yeah, and it was... It, it wasn't as good as it kind of ruined my childhood. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. No, but but it wasn't as good as I remembered. <laughs> yeah, you um, oh, for whatever reason, especially with video games, you tend to remember the good. Um, you oh. know, there's you remember the fun that you had. Yeah. Uh, things that you unlocked or whatever, but you tend to forget, you know, some of the blaring problems with yeah. a game. Although at the same time. It, a lot of it depends on the technology, too. Yeah. Because sometimes... Uh, You're you know, like, man, for this time, this game is great. Yeah, and you and you don't yeah. you know you don't know that at the time. Did you, oh, you and, and also with a combination of, like, you know, you can tell when you're a kid what things are good and bad, but sometimes you can't. I yeah. Like, yeah, I, like, I, no, I agree. Like, um, like, like movies that you're like, oh, man, I love that movie as a kid, and then you rewatch it, and you're like, oh, this movie is terrible. Yeah, but, I mean, sometimes things appeal to kids a lot differently, too. Yeah. You know? They are making jokes, or there's a funny character who gets hit on the head with the frying pan, <laughs> and it's that's what you remember as a kid, and you're like, oh, that movie's hilarious. Also, what the balls did my car even <laughs> do? It just oh. did like a <laughs> just did a barrel roll off into the side of the bay. Do a barrel roll off the bay. <laughs> I really didn't want it to do that, oh but it God. decided to do that. I have been behind you for a long time now, but I I, I just did a really great uh, drift. Oh really? A, a little while there, yeah. I was kind of surprised. I surprised myself. What the? Oh okay, God! That's weird. 
Yeah, I'm going to try and get some speed here and do a... Woo! Oh, I'm um, going to do a jump. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do I'm gonna do a trick right here. Woo! Yeah! No. Nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I did a half. I'm really glad I decided to do the trick... Oh, God. No. Nope. ...off of the pier where I could potentially drown. <laughs> that was a good decision. Uh, yeah. A good decision on my part. I, I landed, like, at a 45-degree angle on the beach, which is not... Uh, you know another person who knows of this game and really likes it? Who? Patrick. P. Cole? Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, because uh, he had released some videos or something on his channel of him, like, doing time attacks or something of Beetle Adventure Racing. So oh. he's another person that, uh, that apparently appreciates the game. I'm assuming that he had it uh, whenever he was younger or whatever. Because uh, I loved it. I loved it. I read about it in Nintendo Power and I bought it. Uh, you know, another game, actually, that I originally heard about in Nintendo Power and played and ended up s enjoying a ton, Worms Armageddon. Have you ever played a Worms game? Yes, I have. I think um, I think, I think. think the last time I played it was with you. I think you were, like, showing me all the different stuff. Yeah, Worms is, Worms is a terribly interesting game with a very interesting T history. Terribly interesting? Terribly interesting, and I use the word terribly just for the fact that some of them are... Oh, God, everything's on fire. ...straight repeats of oh God, oh, yep, other I'm, games. I'm dead. Oh, man, it's getting... I totally just lost the race. No way. I'm... I'm, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I my God. No farts! No... God! Oof. Wow. Like, two seconds. Wow. I have... Oh, fell in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We were going a little too fast. I don't uh, know why they keep asking us for our name. Or shouldn't what it know from before? Yeah. Hey, like, are you still butts? No. <laughs> Br Br no, bra. Actually, it just <laughs> no bra. Yeah, it just actually looks like no bra. <laughs> um, which is not what I meant. To I'm trying to do bra like like surfer talk bro. Yeah. No, bra. Or you know what? No. I probably should have put B R U H. Is that bra? Is that like it's like bra? Uh, nah, bra. It's like bra. Bra. No pants. No pants. <laughs> did you mean to put a T? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> we cook with no pants. No pants. No bra. No pants. No bra. No pants. My goodness, that's uh. <laughs> uh anyway, um, yeah, we're like less than a second away from. Wow. At the end. I didn't, I thought it was more than that. Yeah, it looked. Not so much. Maybe the game's not very good at time. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Hopefully we introduced you to a game that, let's be honest, you probably will not go out and get. <laughs> but it is interesting. It's different, yeah. especially some of the later levels. Um, they're a little harder to unlock, but they're fun. Uh, yeah. If you enjoy non-conventional racing games, this is a game that's super cheap at you know a used game store. You should be able to get it for like 5 to 10 bucks at most. So pick it up yeah. and give it a shot if you have an N64. Anyway, Dan, thank you yeah. for joining me. Thanks for having me, buddy. And I'm I'm glad that you got to have the same childhood experiences with this game as I did. Me three. It, Two. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, recommend future First 20 and Demo Fridays down below. We'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Bye.